we're speaking with Lonnie Hunt from the Deep East Texas Council of Governments about its project to bring broadband internet access to the entire region. So how far along in the project are you? And do you have a timeline of when you might be able to bring service to everybody? Well, we don't have an estimated timeline, but we are, we've made great progress. We have just recently been notified that we've been awarded the grant for Newton County under the 2016 flood competition. And so that means we are going to get started doing something at the moment, that's a relatively small part of our region. It's the Northern part of Newton County. It's about $9 million, but it's still a significant start. And we're still waiting to hear about this uh, $100 million grant that we have pending in the Harvey mitigation competition. And if we get that grant, that will allow us to build infrastructure in all 12 counties and provide service to about 58% of the population of our region, which of course is not all the region and that's our goal for everybody, but you've got to start somewhere. And I use the uh, analogy of you, you eat the elephant one bite at a time. But the beauty of this is uh, never in my wildest dreams did I think we might be able to take such a big bite out of that elephant that we, we consumed over half the elephant in the first bite. And we have the potential to do that if this second grant comes through. And so not only would it give us service for more than half our population, but it would also build a framework of more than 600 miles of fiber and would give us the backbone that we need to expand on then into the other areas of the region. And I'm absolutely convinced if this next grant comes through, we will, it will take a while, this is a huge project, but we will reach our goal of providing broadband service to every single home and business in our region. This doesn't seem like the typical project that a regional planning committee would take on. Well. It's a scary project. And, and I tell people, and, and I've told them this from the start, I was terrified uh, at the start because this is, this is something much bigger than we've ever even thought about undertaking. Uh, but at the same time, it, it, again, it became obvious if we didn't do it, no one else was, and it has to be done. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why it has to be done, but our region is like most of the rest of rural Texas. We, uh, a few of our counties are doing pretty well, but six of our 12 counties have declined in population since the 2010 census. Our economy has been historically distressed. Uh, over the years, our unemployment rate has been higher than the rest of Texas and the nation. Our median household income is considerably lower. Uh, our, and it's all about jobs. You know, jobs drives the economy. That's what brings people into your county or your community. And unfortunately, when the jobs play out and new jobs are not created, that's what drives them out of your county and community because they have to go somewhere else to find a job to support their family. The study that we had done uh, found that with if we could flip a switch today, and we know you, you can't just flip the switch and magically light up the region, but if we could flip that proverbial switch and turn broadband on in our 12 counties, we will create 10,400 new jobs over a 10 year period. Now for a rural region like Deep East Texas, 10,000 jobs is not just big, it's a game changer. After the break, I'll ask Lonnie what the little extra competition could do for consumers in Deep East Texas. So stay with us.